Hey everybody, it's Michael back with Dao Su and Endless Space 2. Hey Dao Su. What's up? So fun time. So fun time, yeah. And uh, we just found some new guys to oppress over here. And we got some warship coming and all kinds of goodies going on. At the, yeah, at the end of the last episode we saw just a sliver of orange oh, up yeah. there. Right up. Zoom in, Wait, somebody's right hiding. Here. Right here by our probe. Is that orange? It's kind of yellowish greeny. Okay. Well, I don't know who that might be, but if you hover over to the right side, uh, the the end turn button, just hover over it, it'll show you their score at least. Oh, yeah, we may be able to see colors. It could be this 95 one here, this yeah. greenish yellow color. Okay, so they're not in in the in the lead by any means, so it's, it seems like an easy conquest. Maybe, yeah, and they're pretty yeah. close to us too. So. Right. right, right. Well, we got one of our new accelerators, our new model accelerators coming out up here at Bellatrix in like two turns, I think. Maybe one. So oh, four, four. No, four. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Too long. Yeah. We need more. We need more production there. But that's well, never gonna. That's never gonna be a high production spot because, well, I mean, if we get that desert planet, it'll be okay. But yeah, the the big producers are gonna be the, the Rigel and Zarin. So we want to get those. Yeah, we want to get those going. Um, oh, we got lava. Yeah. Gas. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, we really want to get those going. They're sort of like, we're not going to be able to develop them right now, but the sooner we sort of get them planted and secured, the better. So So we got to get the tech for that, yeah? Well, we have one planet we can already colonize on both. The so. Savannah here, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, so here's the thing. Do we, do we try to colonize the Savannah first and then move to these after we get the tech? Or do we wait yeah. to get the yeah. tech? Yeah. Well, yeah, I would say go ahead and secure it with the Savannah and have it developed with the high pop and a lot of the basic buildings. And then once you get the tech for the others, you're just good to go, you know, extrapolate or whatever. So and, it's a high high production. And can we simply move people from the Savannah to those once we've got yeah. the colony tech? Okay, yep, yep. Very cool. Well, you have to colonize it just right. like you did on your home planet. But. Okay. So what's next here? We... Um, we already yeah. paid off this guy, so we're going to get right. that in 10 turns. So we want a new colony ship in 10 turns to, to colonize another planet. But for now, we should be sending them most of our food. So uh, we're building a new scout. Yep. And then I'd say probably go to the intensive farming. Okay. Um, because that's... Uh, you hover over it. This is a um, unique improvement, right? So it's only once per empire, but this is definitely the place to build it. Okay. Because and, you're going to be seeding all your colonies from here. Right, and we'll be able to start growing some pop and grabbing hold of it. We will really do want to gro grab hold of Viatris, right? Yeah, absolutely. That'll be probably next. Yeah, okay. So. Cool. All yeah, right. I like that. I like that cue, and then. Um, Should we look up here at Bellatrix? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like I said, the production's going to suck here for a while, but, you know, you do have a temperate planet, so. Um, the mega industrial is going to be probably the next thing you build, I would say. Okay. Because you're going to get, uh, well, you're only going to get plus 20. But still, you're yes. only at 50, 50 right now. So. Yeah, plus 20 is plus 20. All Let's right. say cue that, cue that up. And then, Go ahead and cue it up. Okay. Yeah. All right, what's this here, this little note here? Oh, the neutron star. Yeah, that's okay, your we'll neutron you discovered. Uh, so the last thing we have to do is scan with a scout. This guy over here. Our new improved scout. Yeah, he's got three, and we got a few things to look at here. We got oh, hey, we got three things to look at. So yeah, all right. So we got some Ooh. oh influence. We need that. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. All right, cool. Uh, solo quest started. A new host. Host is that supposed to be hope or? Is uh, it... I don't know. I don't know. A uh, group of the archaeologists from your expedition party has come to you with a bizarre report. They've seen a ghostly airship made of balloons and solar panels. Silently, <laughs> silently traversing the planet's skies. That's a bit weird. Well, great. We are gonna. We're planning on colonizing this anyway. So, what is the what's reward? What's the obelisk? Uh, the reward is. Oh, nice. Plus six happy and plus six influence per temperate. One so per empire. Yeah, so we'll just be able to build that once somewhere. Okay, but it costs uh, eight per turn to maintain eight dust. Yeah, yeah. So create an outpost on the planet Thea 3 or colonize its system, which is exactly yeah. what we plan to do. Right. Cool. So that's good. All right. 
So can we do another one of these, or are we out? Yeah, I, uh, I think so. Okay, a life yeah. form, and Ooh, we got a we got a free pop. Bagaba population. So that that pop is going to sail back to our nearest colony, which okay. is uh, whatever it's called, right okay. around the corner. So is this like one time I found some Horatio and they kind of had their own ship and they went to my nearest planet and set up shop? Yeah, that what that's what they're gonna do. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. Okay, so these which is nice. Are, so this is a free population. So and plus one influence went on fertile, and I think don't we have fertile in that system? Isn't our planet fertile? Uh, it's a jungle planet. Uh, but yeah, I think it is actually. So great, we get some extra influence. All right, and here we got some transmine. Nice, which is cool. Transmine we're need everywhere. A bunch of money. Yeah. What are we okay. getting here with the with this? Is this because this is the thing we need to colonize? Yeah, that's the quest planet. I got gotcha. you. So. Okay. But it it said you can colonize the system and get the reward. So right. That needs to be our next. Uh, as soon as we get the, I'd say, as soon as you finish your military ship, sail it up there. Okay. And then Makes I'd, sense. I'd probably go ahead and build a new colony ship. Yeah. But, um, on my home planet. Yeah, that's where we're gonna have to build it. It's just too. And slow then. Up there. I'd but say after after the stuff. accelerator, mm -hmm. build a build a colony ship, and then sail the accelerator and the colony ship up to the, or else you're probably gonna lose it. Okay. So there we go. Yeah, so do two it, turns do that. From now. Yeah, two turns from now, send them together in a fleet. That way, it'll be super, super safe. Okay, sweet, good idea. And who's idle hmm. still? So your scout, yeah, you know, still. So can what can he do? Nothing really. He can just maybe put him on defend. Yeah, you could do that. Okay. Is there anything else right. we should be doing? I don't think so. All right. Uh, let's in turn then. First military ship. Okay, so that's down here. Mm -hmm. He's uh, queued up right now in the garrison, but we'll wait until our colony ship's done, and then one turn. We'll sa yeah, sail them up. Speculators are buying Hyperion. Seems like a good time to sell some, right? Yeah, let's do it. Low prices of Hyperion, healthy stocks oh. up twenty five, and no demand change have led to rogue traders buying to corner the market. So never mind. Well, let's let's Low go prices. look. Yeah, I know, I know, but I want to I want to just take a look and see. So sixteen per. That's actually that's good. more. more. Yeah, we were yeah. getting nine per before. I'd say sell another sell another thirty. Okay. I mean, you're making so much of it. Cool. Oh, you look. The price dropped to nine after. Yeah. The well, when you yeah you yeah. flood the market, man. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, we just flooded the market with Hyperion, but we made a bunch of money. Now we are at five hundred four hundred thirty eight. So that's yeah. pretty cool. All right, is there anything else to be done here? There's nothing else we can do to help our colony along. What nope. would these things, what are these things? This That's would... if you're competing with someone else trying to take the system, okay. you can sort of fight fight them for it. And then and this, this would be buy with influence. Yeah, with that, that speeds it up a little bit. But I find that my influence in the early game is better spent on the um, yeah. minor race. So like United Empire would be pretty good for that, but not so much. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this guy has a probe. Might as well send it off somewhere. Well, we maybe out this way. Yeah, let's. Uh, well, there's some center space there that's not really explored too much. We did send up. We, yeah, we did. We did send that one probe go down a little bit. We did send one out there. Yeah, but you know, we know. Let's see. Can we see the path? Uh, yeah, yeah, down. Go down. Go down. No, we haven't sent one from there. But if you down, oh down here, yeah, we yeah sent we sent one past Zane. But that's not really comprehensive, so I feel like I feel like sending it up here or here, okay. you know, towards one of these points that, that we, we know that Or we actually know. maybe we should send it here and make contact good, with these. Good people. idea. You'd probably be better off sending it from Zubin or something because you'd be closer, so mm. you could get to Zubin in one turn and then shoot it and then sort of head back. Okay, probably he does I, have his move, so he could okay. do that. I mean, he could go all the way to Bellatrix, probably, right? Yeah, Zubin and Bellatrix seem like they're both equidistant, so... Yeah, pretty pretty close, too. All right, so just straight over that yellow yeah. bubble, you think? Yeah. All right. Cool. We probes, we probes you. And should we maybe take him back to the main planet now? I, I mean, I definitely want to keep an eye on Thea because I'm, I'm worried that the trees are going to try to take it, so... Yeah. Let's send him back over there. He'll be there next turn. The trees should be developing a 
a military by now, I gotta think, but so are we, so. Okay, well, and we're gonna get that military ship up there very shortly. Uh, one turn, we have our incubator coming very soon. Right. Uh, let's see, is there anything else to be done? Don't think so. We're gonna get a autonomous construction next turn. Okay, and remind me, what's that gonna get us? Uh, if you hover over it, you'll be able to see. Oh, exactly. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. It's just a sort of base military tech that we're getting. We don't really need it right now. It's going to help our logistics, which makes oh, bigger right. fleets. We and then it's going to unlock tanks as well. So. All right, and then the titanium slugs. Is that a support module that goes on ships, or does it go on a ground unit? It goes on ships, and it helps you like siege down when you're trying to invade a planet. It's not yeah. something we're going to use for a while, though. Okay, all right. It's nice to have. All right. In turn, and get on with it. Looks like the Horatio headed out. They don't seem to be hanging out up here anymore. They not? Okay, we got that. And now and we're, we're getting, working on uh, multi-thread yeah. management. Getting the market. Which is going to give us our accelerated production. Yeah, oh, and right. also our intergalactic supermarket. Right, right. So we also start getting some real money here. Cool. Okay. Now, uh, you got your two ships ready to go to Thea. Okay, so do we, what, create a fleet? Yeah, you can um, just make just... them exit. You can, yeah, click both of them and create a new fleet and then okay. yeah there you go so seven turns is as fast as they can go i think right. the so, accelerator is seven and the incubator is nine so it defaults to the slowest one gotcha so maybe i should just click them up to bellatrix just until yeah. we see what's going to happen yeah that's fine okay how long will that take to happen i don't see the little like how many turns it's going to take markers i have to zoom in a little bit there and click the ships Oh, that's why. Okay, I see. All uh, right, so two, two turns, turns to then... get to Bellatrix, and then they'll have a little movement left over. Probably about four or four turns to get to the yeah, something like that. Okay, so once they get up there, we can uh, redirect them. I just didn't want to send them up and have something happen in between, you know. Well, you got your military ship there, so you're pretty safe. Oh, true, yeah. And we got another scout coming here in one turn. Yeah. And we should maybe take him around and have him scan any missing yeah. anomalies because I want, have a few. Uh huh. I want him down there. Two. And then, and then on Zan. I think we. Oh yeah, we have a few, and we actually have some we can't do yet. Right, that are locked. And then okay. there's someone uh, on Rigel and someone Sinus even I think. Uh yeah, there's quite a few locked. He's got work to do. One we can do. Yeah, he's got a lot of scanning to do. So that's I do gonna remember be great. this. I do remember this in Stellaris, kind of like going along and rescanning things after you'd already explored. So <laughs> everything you missed, huh? Yeah. Is there anything else we need to do? We got yeah. everything queued up. Move, move your scout to Thea. Oh, good, good call. Yeah. And um, see and if he's you want to have another probe, right? Should. You got your improved probes now, so they're a lot faster. So now we could do. I would. I would see what the trees doing on the two lanes behind him. So like maybe over to here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I might send one just straight up through there too, because it'll also I think show you what ships he's got, but yeah, we'll have to wait till next turn. But Okay, I put him on defend. Yeah. And there's nothing else really we can do now, right? Well, check your notifications on the right. You got uh, a hero up upgrade. And... New luxury resource discovery. We saw that already. Yeah. Hero upgrades, so, so assign some skills. We're going to keep him yeah. going with the bonus yeah. science? We can't. We're full up. Oh. So we can we can do vision and movement and put him and make him go explore, or probably better to leave him since we're getting the science. Yeah. I'd probably, I'd probably give him the plus one food and production per pop. Okay. That's it's not a great, but it's the best you can do right now. All right. And what's then, the other option? That's on ship. This is plus money. Okay. Yeah, but it's yeah. not. It's it's so, such a small amount. Food and manufacturing seems more important to me. Yeah. At the moment. Too. Of course, you only have five pop on your home base, right? So. Uh, that is right. So you're gonna get five production, five um, food. So it's not nothing, but you know. And five is counting everybody. Yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah. and five. Okay, everybody right. in system. Right. Okay, and Not so bad. what else? Are we good? Um, check what you built in your little okay. build queue over there on the right. Oh, right. Okay. I always go through all those. Not everybody does, but you know. No, it makes sense to do incubate. We yeah. built our incubator. We got a detector coming. 
Okay, cool. So we're all good. Okay, let me make that go away. And in turn... Okay, so we got our detector over here. Low manpower. Right, so every, yeah, we're every time you build ships. your ships, right. it's not it's not so bad right now. This is part of the reason I wanted a minor faction. Once we become friendly with the minor faction, they give us a bunch of manpower. Mm, okay. And every time you build a ship, you get uh, each ship contains a certain amount of manpower. Uh, manpower is used to invade planets. Right. But it also gives you a fighting bonus if your ships are full of right. manpower. So. Okay. But it regenerates super slowly. It's just a portion of your food. So you're only getting 19 per turn right now. Yeah, I remember seeing that. When you look over here, you yeah. can see manpower, 6.8. I think it's 10% of your, of your food, so okay. you're, getting six, you're getting 7 from there and probably 10 or so from your other one. So I see now that our Bagaba people are here. Yep, that's they're, excellent. They're working. Free, free pop, so that's going to be, you know, yeah. So that bonus. probably increased our production of stuff over here, right? Definitely did by whatever the planet space yeah. is, and we are fertile, so they are giving us influence per turn. Yep, nice. nice. We got a little more influence now, but they also cost two influence because every pop is costing one influence for each law, and we have two laws. Oh, so okay. It's so we're just breaking even yeah, on that we one. We are just barely. <laughs> we got plus two. Yeah. All right. So should we start moving ships around? Yeah. Is that, is, that, uh, is that Horatio down there? There's something pink there. Oh, yeah, it is. Jesus. Okay, well, we might have a fight, but I doubt he attacks our scout, but he might. He, he has the option to attack our scout. All right, so, so should we put this guy into the fleet? Yeah, I'll just create him. Or on whatever. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we stand a good chance of beating the Horatio if he does attack us, so... I'd say just go about your business, really. I mean, the Horatio is just a, like a little fly buzzing us, you know? So he's just scanning. All right. Yeah, he's going to scan. And... I am starting to feel like we want to get that military ship down here in, you know, like on blockade or whatever. It would be a nice thing to have another military ship there. Mm -hmm. But, we, but it, we're low on manpower already, right? Well, it doesn't matter. You can have a ship without manpower, and it'll just slowly fill with manpower as you sit there. But... Mm -hmm. But um, it would take you know it would take turns to build and it's yeah. not crucial so. Okay. So we'll, just well you, that you had some up. you had some anomalies there on your home planet. Do we? But, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't even realize. Well, I got okay. to come back through anyway. You got time to do them all. And, and then you're building the a, food he, thing now. He doesn't have a probe that he can do right now. Sorry. Right. And what were you saying? Well, sorry about the food. No, I'm just saying we're building that food place next. Oh right. Yes. And then um correct. yeah intense cultivation he should have three probes but he can't use them when he's in the star lane so oh i didn't even realize yeah we should have sent those off first yeah i see what you're saying oh okay well look we got details up here Cram. we got yeah so who are you doria okay um but who is the doria let me see i think doria's lumeris maybe can we see their details in any way um, check the diplomacy tab. See if we met them. Is that the handshake? Handshake. Right? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's the ratio. There's the Doria. Lumaris. Or, this is Lumaris. They're like a Lumaris. market marketing kind of. Okay. Uh, they they focus on money and stuff. I think we, we could probably probably blow them up pretty easily, but um, we'll have to we'll have to work on our military a little bit. So they are like the lowest powered out of everybody here at yeah. least in this list. Yeah. Should we talk to them or no? You can. I mean, you might, they might be willing to share maps and stuff, but I'd probably save because everything you do, well, you can introduce yourself for free, I guess. Okay. So just make an offer, bottom right. Sometimes it's hard to tell yeah. your friends from your enemies, isn't okay. it? Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't know what that does exactly, but. Uh, yeah, I just wrote a cold word, uh, I guess, aren't we? Uh, and now it probably opens some new options. Right. Um,. It okay. costs influence. It costs influence to do any kind of diplomatic action. Right. And your influence is so low right now. So. Okay. Well. Uh, but you also built a new military ship on Bellatrix. So. Ah. Yes. And we have the mega consultancy thingy going. So the military ship. What do we? Um, you could lock down. Do with it? I mean, you could lock down Thea. Okay, so we have a military ship coming, but we can drop it here and push this one up to the front, right? 
Yeah, or we could push them both to the front and be hyper aggressive. Not that we'll need them, but with Horatio jumping around in here, I kind of like yeah. to have a couple around. So you could, yeah, you could put him on block there in case the guy passes through and he'll get blown up. Well, let's bring this one forward and we'll drop the other one here. Sounds good. Sounds and good. And then we gotta let everybody move, right? Right. Because you got your colony ship coming up. So those guys are gonna take another turn to get up there. Um, and then you probably have some more probes. Yeah, this guy's got a probe that he can do. So where should I send it? Should I send it maybe up this way, or do you want to check more tree guys? No, I think that's fine. I'd send it up up there, yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll figure out what's there. It looks like these guys have another planet over here, maybe. Yep, yeah, I'm sure they do. The AI expands pretty fast. All right, well, uh, what now? That's it, man. We are low on money and low on influence. This we, got is... we got money. I mean, we got money, but we're our economy sucks. Yeah, we're not generating much, that's for sure. But we are generating a lot of Hyp Hyperium, which can be worth a lot. So there's yeah, that. and we're about to be able to get, we're about to get the buyout tech, and then we'll be able to build that um, that, that building for more cash. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so what do we do, intern? Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. Our colony down here's got like five more turns or so, right? It must be getting close at this point. Academy discovered by Unknown Empire. Oh. The Academy's where your heroes are generated. Okay. Um, did we... Uh, did we get this? No. Oh. No, somebody you had somebody the, got... Yeah, yeah, there were, there were yeah. like uh, three... Well, we got, the, we got the money. Too. We got the money. No, we, no, we, we did. did. How did we, we discover the account? We, you know, our probe might have passed by it or something. Oh. I don't know. I, don't I know should have happened. clicked find the location, shouldn't I? Because I don't see it. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. We got some money, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because it, it. it said achieved. so <clears throat> It did. And we did get like 200 um, dust. Yeah. Very strange. Okay. I say move your ships first of all. All right. Okay, so now we've got this up here, so we should grab the colony ship out of this fleet. So yeah, what do we do? Disband it. He's gonna be vulnerable on Zubin, but I guess it's okay. Do you think you should get an escort all the way? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I mean, pretty much our whole fleet will be here. I doubt anything happens, but usually as a policy, I don't have a colony ship this late in the game by itself but okay well let's be safe let's sit yeah. up here and we'll just bring the accelerator back after yeah that sounds, sounds good okay well send him up so, there turns okay but over here we got our detector and he has another probe so yeah where you i don't know at this point i might send my i might send my probe to janice and just see Straight up and see what they're doing. No, I, mean, I, I would actually. Well, okay. Well, I was gonna, already did it. Sorry. I was gonna say you could just send the scout ship, and then if he starts shit, you could just retreat. But you'd find out what he's working with, mm. and then you know from there you could shoot out probes to his two lanes. But we can do that next turn. That's not really a big rush. Oh, that's a good point. I could go ahead and move him this turn, though. He does have move left. Yeah. If you want me to move yeah, him out there, yeah, I'd say go for it, man. I mean, okay. the worst that's gonna happen is you'll have to retreat, right? And you'll, lo you'll lose some hit points. Um, All right. Can or, we, or we might blow up another Okay, so we ships. can see his ships now. So what's he got over here? He's got two of these wells. They're 17, not very powerful, though. Five, and this is this is a defensive tanky ship. The purpose of this ship is to absorb hits from your attackers so that yeah. his his attackers can do damage, but he doesn't have any attackers right now. So. Yeah, I guess we could go for an attack. We are going to have two military ships up here, by the way. We could send them on and actually fight him. I don't know that we really want that kind of grief right now, but... Well, I mean, we could, but the thing is, is that without... Okay, go back to his planet. If you hover over his symbol, you gotta zoom out. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, hover over his symbol. So he's got... Wow. He's got 120 men and 40 tanks. On so the planet. So there's no way in hell you're invading that successfully right now. Right. Like but if we you click on space superiority is all I was thinking. Yeah, I mean we can we can siege it down for like ten turns and then try to invade it maybe. Mm. If you go look at your ships. 
We're definitely uh, not ready for ground war. I know that. Yeah, yeah. But hover over your ship. Uh, so you've got... Uh, wait. Yeah. Um, go back and hover over your actual fleet. Like, yeah. Like here? Yeah. Oh, there we go. So you've only got 20 soldiers on there, so... Yeah. You'd have to siege him down for a long time, so it's probably not worth even getting involved in that. Yeah, okay. I was just thinking causing him some material damage by destroying ships. You know, that he'd have you to know I him. mean, it, you probably, it'd probably be worth doing. Of course, then you're going to be in a state of war with him for a long period of time. Probably, That's the thing, so. we may, and we may not want that. So, yeah. I'm, All I'm, right. good, I'm good without, without yeah. doing that. Okay, we do have our detector down here, though, and he can do some, uh, he yeah, can do some probing. The, uh, yeah, grab those. Expedition successful. Hostile fauna. Sounds like a bad battle data. We got a battle tactic. Get a fleet damage boost each time an allied ship is destroyed. Yeah. This is a card, so I yeah. think if you hover, hover over the picture. No, doesn't no? seem to give me any more than that. But I get the I get the point, right? This is yeah. this is like that other one where you get like some money back for ships that were destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what is this thing? Hostile fauna. Uh, a negative anonymous. Well, it gives you food. It's the it's the what's the thing from Star Trek? I mean, Star Wars. Excuse me, nerds. I'm sorry. Yeah, some giant <laughs> creature you can eat, but it but it reduces your science and reduces your happiness. Okay. Yeah, the giant beast is on your planet. Breathe deep. Oh, cool. Psychotropic atmosphere. Plus two vision range. On I don't three. like when it does on this Garrison. because because. Garrison's second daring expedition means nothing to me. What is that? Is that the, your scout? I mean, it doesn't tell you. Um, if, you hover, if you hover over your... So I, I can just see it right now because it's on your screen at the bottom. It says right. second daring experiment. So I know that this is your your scout, which is great Yeah. because you have vision range. But, I mean, I hate how it says your fleet name that you don't even know what, which fleet right. is which. So if you didn't if you didn't have this open, you wouldn't know which one this was. Now, you'd have to figure... You could figure it out, but it's just annoying. Right. Because there's no, like, uh, zoom to button, so... Okay, and is this auto? This yeah, is going to yeah. happen? It's already yeah. done? So he's got a bonus to vision range at the moment? Yep. Okay, and so should I go ahead and do this one? Yep. And then we'll get him out of there and get him back. Okay. All right, that's an advanced... Wow, yeah, advanced nice. strategic resource, so that's good. That's good. That's our first time of... Uh, and uh, if you want to, you could send a probe out in some direction from here, too. It's kind of a good... Okay, go Slot. ahead and do that. Yeah, I probably would. Um, Maybe out this way, like south? Yeah, yeah, why not? See, see who's out there. Okay, and then I'll bring him back up to Viatris, and then we can send one maybe that way while we... Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so bring him back. I did do that, right? Yep, he's just out of moves. Okay, and then this is a food ship? Yeah, that's a food <laughs> ship. So we got five turns left. Yeah, you'll be you'll be getting it soon. Cool. All right, what's next? Uh, do we need to do anything else here? I think, I think you're good. That okay, food building takes a long time because it's sort of like a national wonder. Right. We're getting multi-thread management in one turn, though. Yeah, we're going to be able to buy stuff, although we don't really have enough money for anything. Yeah, but, we're getting our Mindy, Mega Indie Consultancy over here in three turns. All right, that's about it. But should we yeah. go up? We got our colony. This is our colony ship coming. Right. Um, I'm waiting for that that colony. I need I need more colonies here. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on that. I, I feel like that. So we're gonna we be need, able to need Rigel and Rigel and Zane. But you know, it's not getting there. It's getting there just in time to start it because this one's gonna be done. We'll yeah, but you're gonna colony. you're gonna be taking food from Bellatrix, I think. So oh, you're right. Yeah. You're gonna have two going at a time, no problem. That's cool. Well, so should we be building a yeah. colony ship down here? I think I think by the time intensive cultivation's done, you're gonna want your next colony ship. Okay, it's only going to be one turn. Yeah. All and right. why don't we queue up a military ship right behind that? Okay. Or should we wait until do should we we waiting till we get some more tech so it's a better ship? I mean, we can always upgrade our ships, but um, there's not really too much else that I'm interested in building right now. Mm -hmm. So I'd say a military ship. You know, when when you're in doubt about what to build, a military ship's pretty much always the best option. Right, and we we do need one down here because we've got everybody up yeah. here. So. I am gonna I am gonna want that uh, that financial building though so okay that's coming next turn so all right well we can yeah we could cancel if we needed yeah. to or something 
All right, uh, in turn then? I think we're good to go. Okay. And we probably got room for one more turn here before our time runs up. Okay. Let's people were com people were commenting and saying that the episodes were too short. By the way, too <laughs> short, know. really? Yeah, oh, thirty okay. minutes. But right, um, well, we can go a little bit longer. Yeah. All right, so we got our intergalactic supermarket and our accelerated production, and now yep. we're working on off-world agribusiness when we can start uh, talking to those yeah. dudes. We need those dudes to give us their their manpower. We need their their bodies. To yeah. Keep for the machine. So we've only got two turns left on the off-world agribusiness. What should we? I know right exactly what I want. Uh, okay. Zoom in, zoom in on the east side. East side. I yeah. figured you'd be going for the military stuff. Well, what? Okay, so hover over the. Um, see where the three is. The number three. Yeah. So it says this is already unlocked, but um, see the little yes. planet, planet with the arrow. Planet just, with the arrow, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Basic system development, I see. So it's saying that you can do this already, but you can't. Because the yeah. only reason, I think the only reason, well, maybe we did unlock it and I just didn't realize it. Go to your um, your little laurel in the upper left-hand corner. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Uh, just minimize that for now. We'll deal with it later. Minimize. minimize. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. Okay. Um... Um, I, I told you to go to the wrong button. I think it's the uh, actually the coin stack. Market, okay. Yeah, and then... Oh, God damn. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not the coin stack either. It's it's the system view. Go to the system view. Which one was that again? So system view, meaning of our main system? Yeah, all the systems. Like, yeah, this is it. Okay. Okay, system management, yeah. This is not the screen where I'm thinking of. There's a screen that allows you to click on victory, maybe. Victory. The little victory Where's... tab. It's like a tab on this menu. Top, top. Oh, of the I screen. see it. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Not this, huh? No. Hmm. Um, try your laws, maybe. Laws, okay. Uh, oh. That is this. Yeah. Okay, just sort of scroll through them all, and I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, scroll through like, all these up here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so there's research, there's Keep going. ships. Keep going. This heroes list. Keep um, going. Quests. Well. And diplomacy. I don't see it right now, but... Okay, okay. here it is, under... Trade or resources. Trade and resources. You can, um, you can... Uh, okay, so it is allowing you to do it. So we must have already gotten that, and I just didn't know... Or we just got it, I think. We just got it. I think so. so what do we do right. to take advantage of this? How do we do anything click, with Click this? it. Click it. Okay. And then um, we got to make a choice here, and it's a pretty difficult choice because we have – and it's a it's a good choice, though, because we have two of the best luxury resources in the game. Okay. So we have to choose, do we want our first upgrade to be using Jadenix or to be using Blue Caps? Or to be uh, using tra Transvine, which is not really something that we're going to choose because – Well, we have most of this, right? Yeah, so I think it costs twenty five per so upgrade. If... So okay, you could do so that, you do or that. you could, or you could put the blue caps in there and get plus four science. Uh, how do I make this go away? Okay. I like I don't know, getting man. more manufacturing. I like more manufacturing too, but we're already so good at science. It's just tempting to just steamroll the science. So transvine would give us. That, but we don't have enough anyway. Yeah, or we're not gonna do trans. I mean, you can choose whatever you want, and then um, just buy the stuff. But I, I don't know. I get, I get what you're saying about science, but we really need to build a lot of things right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's more tempting. Let's do the production, and then, sure. yeah, our next upgrade can be using the blue cap too. Okay. So now we've got that. So now you can go to both of your systems. <laughs> Right. And that's a that's a one turn upgrade that will instantly give you a bunch of stuff. So I wouldn't okay. do it th through here. I would just go to the main screen and you know. So click uh, level two upgrade down there. Uh, I don't see it in your building queue. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I would drag that to the very front. Really? It's a, oh it's yeah, because that's going to be one turn production, right? It's an All instant right. thing. So and then I do system? that do that on the other system too, and yeah. Great. All right. So that's going to instantly 
give our make our citizens a lot more productive. This is what I was saying. We did get the this, this is, is the ability to yeah. do that. I just didn't realize that it just happened. So okay, good. Uh, this here collapsing star discovery. Yeah, I'd do a little show location on that. Ooh. And that We're guy. Starting some stuff. Okay, that's where the trees. That's out by the trees. Yeah. So he's man. He's in a bad starting spot. He doesn't he even does... have. He doesn't even have a second planet yet. We should just uh, take him over, man. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying like, about taking out his ships. You know. I mean, we could just be. We should just be sieging him down with three or four ships. Man, we don't have three or four ships at the yeah, moment. Yeah, But we could. We could shortly. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. So what's uh, what's next here? We got our colony in what? Four turns? No, mm, two turns. Two. Yeah, we got okay. a food ship there. Could buy it out and use all of our influence. Nah. Um, uh, but... I'd say move your scout to your home planet. I don't think you've assigned it an order yet. Right. No, no, okay, it's moving. You have. It's moving. Oh so, yeah, you can just. We click. just need to tell it to move. When your colony ship is about to arrive in Thea next turn. It is, yeah. And we have, let's see, some idle fleets here. So we got our scout up here in Janus, actually. It looks like he's got some ships moving around. Is that a vine ship, I'm this guessing? This is Reavers. These are pirates. Oh, yeah. Okay. Click on it if you want. These uh, are remember. both pirates. Yeah, it looks like he fought the trees and lost. Okay. And, uh, and they're fleeing. Is that what's going on there, you think? Looks like. Their health is full. Yeah, I think they attacked the pirates, and the pirates ran away. And when you ret when you retreat, you lose half your hit points. So okay, what should I do with him? Uh, should I investigate some of their anomalies? I might just send him on further afield, like since you've got your other scout taking care of your home planets. Right. I would just I would just send him to the furthest furthest place that you can get. You know. I so, can do that, but he's not going to get there till next turn, so I should use his probes, right? Yeah, except your probes eat, eat, eat your turns. And I, oh, okay, yeah. I see. All and right. also, I don't know, if you discover his anomalies, does that give him the anomalies? or? Well, at I know, the very least, we would get the part we could carry away. Well, yeah. But so on, on minor sieves, if you go to their place and you discover stuff, it, it, they, they get the stuff, and then they like you more. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm wondering if it works the same way with major sieves. But I'm not sure. Now, you could try it. Way, if I go this way, I'm going to have to fight the pirate, aren't I? Yeah, you might. That's true. I mean, anywhere you go now, you're going to have to fight pirates because it's like turn 30. And But, you know, the fact that there are pirates out there, it makes mm -hmm. me think that uh, that one of those dots is a minor sieve. Yeah. Which would be interesting because you, um, you could ingratiate yourself enough some minor sieves, you can um, you can get them to build ships for you. Okay. So you could harass them even more, the, the trees even more. All right, well, what the hell, let's go. Yeah, I'd say just go up there and see what's going on. Take us a while uh, to get over there. Yeah, it, it is it is a minor sieve. You can see the gray. Oh, I see, yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is, wow, the trees really are sucking. Now here, we've got the accelerator. We should put him on defend. He is on defend. Yeah, right, he, just, he cool. can just sit there and defend and then... So that guy's not going anywhere for now. All right, no. so we're ready to start a new colony in just a bit then. And yep. um, I think we probably should end it here because we're getting we're good. 30 minutes. Good. All right, well, we'll see you next time around. Thanks, Del Su, for, uh, for guiding us along the way here. Sure, man, we're doing well. We're going we're gonna to win. I think so. I think so. All right, see you next time. Later.